scoring hours on the stand Friday night, Widner Flo Degrewey, a rapper signed to Lil Wayne's Young Money label, insisted that he played no part in killing two brothers on a New Orleans East Street in 2015. Yet when prosecutor Alex Calenda began cross-examining Degrewey, one of his first questions wasn't about the fatal morning of May 25, 2015. Instead, he asked Degrewey to lower his sweater for the jury. There on the top of his chest, emblazoned in red, was the letter P that Philadelphia Phillies players wear on their hats. Degrewey had also inked the P onto his jail shoes, a sheriff's office investigator said. But Degrewey said he could not name a favorite Phillies player. I really just like the team. It's not a certain player, he said. The seemingly incongruous exchange went to the heart of the Orleans Parish District Attorney's Office's case against Degrewey. Prosecutors say that while he presents himself as a genial entertainer in court, in reality he's a cold-blooded killer who sports gang signs. According to Orleans Parish Sheriff's Office investigator Lance Wade, the P stands for the Bayou subset of the National Bloods gang. Wade also noted that the name of Degrewey's record label was Flame Gang Music. Degrewey and defense attorney Gary Wainwright rejected the alleged gang association. They also told jurors that Degrewey's references to guns and drugs in his songs, none of which were played during the trial, were pure fantasy. There's a lot of references to a lot of things, if you're using metaphors in your music and stuff, Degrewey said. Degrewey's surprise decision to testify on his own behalf highlighted the final day of testimony in his trial, where he is facing life in prison. Both sides will present closing arguments to the jury in criminal district court judge Tracy Fleming's de Vliers courtroom Monday. Degrewey said that while he was with one admitted shooter, his friend Jonathan Lil Joe Evans, shortly before the two killings, he had no role in them. Instead, he claimed that he saw Evans with his cousin, Damien Lil D. Crockham, who was killed in a separate homicide in 2017. Degrewe claimed he had left the pair just before brothers Kendrick and Kendred Bishop, 22 and 18, were shot to death. That drew a skeptical response from Calenda, who noted that Degrewe was captured feet away from Evans on a surveillance camera near the shooting scene, and that Degrewe also admitted to carrying a gun that morning. You were just running with a different gun, and he comes running with the AK-47, and that's all happenstance, as they say. Calenda said. Degrewe also rejected prosecutors' explanation of his supposed motive in the double homicide. Prosecutors Calenda and Irina Zajakova claim he was mad at the brothers because he thought they had stolen $8,000 and a handgun from him. But according to Degrewe, that kind of money didn't mean much to him. During his heyday as one of Lil Wayne's associates, he often carried $2,500 in a genuine Gucci wallet, he said. Degrewe claimed his only mistake back then was associating with people like Evans, who testified against him Thursday under a plea agreement. He said there was an important lesson he had learned in jail. In order to get out the hood or the ghetto, you gotta keep the ghetto from round you, he said. You can't play both sides of the field. Earlier in the day, one of Degrewe's friends gave testimony that he did not plot the double murder. Omrit Dukey said nothing seemed to miss early on the fatal morning as he drove Degrewe back from a Lil Wayne show in Alabama. Nothing, he said, except the behavior of Degrewe's friend Evans, who was in a GMC Yukon Denali with them. He was going in and out of sleep, then all of a sudden he just slammed the gun on my dashboard, Dukey said. According to Degrewe, Evans had earlier told him that Kendred Bishop looked like one of his ops, or enemies. The Bishop brothers also attended the concert, hours before their death. Yet on the stand, Evans said he clearly remembered Degrewe plotting the brothers' murder with him on the car ride back. He also claimed that he came back from the show in a Mercedes-Benz sedan, not a GMC, according to a 2015 report from a police officer. Dookie said there was no discussion of murder in his SUV. Also on Friday, 
Wainwright brought back to the stand two police officers in an attempt to suggest that they conducted a slipshod probe into the Bishop brothers' slaying. Both cops acknowledged that they never conducted further investigation into the man to whom Evans said he gave his AK-47.